Welcome to podcast number 12. I'm Denise Haynes from R&R Property. I'd like to actually start doing some podcasts on suburb profiles. So the first one that I'd like to do today is on Stroud. Now Stroud was established by the Australian Agricultural Company in 1826. It's an incredibly picturesque rural town which is steeped in history. Many gorgeous buildings and convict built structures such as the eight underground grain silos within Silo Hill still remain today. Located along the Buckets Way, inland of the beaches of Port Stephens, approximately one hour from the Hunter Valley and approximately two and a half to three hours from Sydney, Stroud falls within the Mid Coast Council area. The residential area of Stroud is surrounded by farmland both working farms and lifestyle properties. It is incredibly pretty, framed by rolling hills and mountains, plus a high average rainfall ensures it is almost always lush and green. Stroud has an approximate population of a thousand people, the highest percentage being made up of families in owner-occupied homes. At r and Property, we regularly receive inquiries from clients wishing to rent in the area, but the town does not hold enough investment properties to accommodate the demand. For the Littleys, Stroud Public School has an excellent reputation and there is also the choice of nearby Burrell and Stroud Road schools as well. Preschool and two daycare centres are available, plus playgroups. Because the schools are small, the children benefit from being able to work closely with their teachers and also form strong friendship bonds with their peers as a group. For higher school education, children have the choice to commute via school bus to Dungog, Gloucester, Medowie, Bulladeela, Raymond Terrace, Maitland and Newcastle. Stroud has a commercial hub of retail shops and services within the main street and surrounding areas including a pharmacy, a medical centre, produce store, antique store, home and handmade goods, second hand furniture shops, a grocery store with news agency service, post office, butchers, bakery, hairdressers, beauty salons, cafes, remedial massage, mechanic, tyre service, auto electrician, fuel stations, hotel, country club and golf course, Chinese restaurant and a real estate agency. There are also a high number and large variety of small businesses operating from homes throughout the area. We currently have one farm gate roadside store business operating where fresh organic produce is sold. There are also regular permaculture and related classes available. A cluster of vineyards exists, some offer cellar door services, another holds regular muso functions, weddings, parties and markets. Yamaha's number one motocross champion, Josh Green, has a riding school here as well. Perfect for kids and adults alike to learn new riding skills. Now community spirit is strong in the country and this certainly applies to Stroud. I have always found that whenever a family or person is in crisis, the community all pulls together to help them. It is truly wonderful to see and experience. I also love walking down the street when locals stop you for a chat or sing out a greeting. You certainly feel like you belong in this amazing community. There are a number of groups and activities to be enjoyed, anything from boot camp, trail riding, trail bike groups, pony club, historical society, garden club, quilting to acting and riders groups, whatever takes your fancy. We have the Stroud Raiders football team, the Wildcats soccer team and the cricket club should you be a sporting enthusiast. Annual events include the Stroud Show, Stroud Rodeo and Camp Draft, International Brick and Rolling Pin Throwing Contest and the Stroud Fair. R&R Property always attend these events, have their marquee up and provide face painting for the Littleys. It is a great time to catch up with our community as a whole. 
R&R Property are always sponsors for Stroud's events. Our next major event coming up is the Stroud Annual Country Show, in which this year we will be sponsoring the wife carrying competition and the token booth. Stroud and its surrounding localities have an amazing array of varying waterways, both fresh and salt water, therefore lending itself to be enjoyed by kayakers, boating enthusiasts, fishermen or just having plain old splashing about fun. I personally grew up in the small town of Orworth. Orworth is located just south of Stroud and is placed along the banks of the Karua River, which is salt water at that point. It has a boat ramp and jetty and we have a very popular fishing club who hold an annual flathead catching competition. I spent many childhood I spent my childhood swimming, fishing, boating and catching mud crabs in the river with friends and family. It's truly an amazing and beautiful river. Stroud features public parks and barbecue areas a free 25 metre public swimming pool, skate park and a beautiful showground with camping facilities. A little known fact is that Stroud has a common, a 30 acre parcel of land on the fringe of the residential area to be used by the community. Locals who live in the residential area can keep their horse on the common for as little as $3 per week. Now that is a bargain. Locals either work in the area in various trades and employment or commute. Stroud has a large poultry and beef industry and a handful of dairies remain. We are within easy travelling distance to the Rough Base and the Newcastle Airport which provides employment. Others commute to the surrounding suburbs or to Newcastle City, Central Coast or Hunter Valley for employment finding it an easy drive along our roads once they're out of the city areas. As previously mentioned as well, a lot of locals are working small businesses from home. Now if you want to get in the market, affordability is excellent in the Stroud district with the current median house price sitting around the 325000 mark. Our prices range from a vacant quarter acre building block in the vicinity of 120000 and up into the large prestige properties in the 1 million plus range. We have some new rural residential estates coming onto the market in the near future which will be exciting and meet the, meet the demand we currently have for small acreages. We are currently incredibly short on stock given the successful year we had last year which came through into the Christmas period. In Stroud we've always had the Sydney market either for weekend getaways or complete relocations but these days it has changed to mostly complete relocations. Central Coast clients have become one of our largest new player groups to the field. It seems that because Sydney is still in boom mode at the time of this podcast, vendors are selling up and moving to the Central Coast. In fact, the Central Coast locals are calling their hometown Little Sydney and looking to escape from the rut race by moving our way for a tree change. We also have quite a bit of interest from the Newcastle area and Madawi. Madawi has the RAF base and the Newcastle Airport not far from it, which are an approximate 45 minute drive from Straub. This leads workers to buy in our area and make the easy commute as needed. Having the airport at such a handy distance suits business people who possibly work from home but have to attend meetings at say head office or meet with clients on a regular basis. It is also popular with mine workers who fly in and fly out from say Western Australia. Currently our most popular properties are the smaller acreages, between 2 to 50 acres. These are classed as hobby farms. The smaller size parcels of land allow people to have the space they yearn for as well as keep animals, have vegetable gardens, ornamental gardens and chicken coops. These smaller size acreage properties are not as much maintenance, especially helpful for the owners who are working away from home. 
Aranda Property provide a Stroud Business Directory on their website. So jump on there and check out what we have whenever you like. Our website is www.randrproperty.com.au. I'm Denise Haynes and the r and Property team have offices located in both Stroud and Bulladella but cover a large area surrounding them including Gloucester and Karua. They are your tree change specialist and love assisting others to make the move from city to country. The team are a combination of lifetime locals and tree changers, so their vast experience and knowledge is your asset. You'll find their free real estate advice on the website, in the podcasts and on the Facebook page. We have regular hints and tips and we do all that for free just to help you out. You can also grab your free tree change guide at the website previously mentioned www.randrproperty.com.au Now if you've enjoyed this podcast, I'm sure you'll enjoy our others, so please subscribe to our podcast, R&R Property, The Real Estate Girl. Thank you.